Hey guys, it's Ananas here once again. Um, this time I'm gonna bring you another um, commentary for War Game European Escalation. So um, this is going to be a one v one. All right, and um, I'm once again controlling the NATO. Um, all my units are mostly mostly from the U.S. Army. Um, for my, I have uh, four units of uh, Cobra helicopters. These are gunship helicopters. Pretty good. I like them a lot. So yeah. And uh, I also have two Apaches behind them. These guys are pretty good as well. All right. I'm just gonna show you the neutral view so you can see what's my opponent doing. Okay, um, so basically, uh, once again, heavy uh, uh, kind of uh, helicopter uh, contingent and uh, light armor, uh, infantry fighting vehicle uh, instead of tanks. Uh, this replay was uh, a few days ago, so uh, till um, I. I have invested some of my command points into tanks and um, it's working out pretty well. I use a tank just as a as a, just as a frontline unit to absorb all the damage and uh, um, for the to TOW vehicle is awesome, the tow vehicle, the um, anti-tank ground missile uh, which is equipped on the uh, on a 4x4, uh, that, that is pretty good as well, uh, kills really fast. So I'm just capturing all the uh, areas over here. Echo and Delta are the most important one because they give four points. Uh, by uh, there's a time where they give four points each time to your rein, so you can spend your points on reinforcements. And I captured Foxtrot as well. Here's my tow vehicle. I captured. They are really cheap, and they are really effective. Um, for, uh, capturing this allows me to send my reinforcement here uh, much faster than sending it from here. From hotel, and uh, my opponent just brings he brought some tanks, some uh, anti air, and uh, artillery. Um, yeah, this artillery has like ten accuracy, so it's really really accurate. And people just tend to spam them a lot. To be honest, uh, every time I play, they just spam artillery and just take out a shit ton of my forces. Other than that, he has uh, not much. Just artillery and tanks. Uh, doesn't seem like doesn't seem like he has any infantry units. Uh, caught his uh, gunship helicopter off out of position, and I'm just gonna rip it apart. You always wanna scout uh, before sending in your choppers because they are so expensive. But over here, he, he manages to get a, I think one or two of my uh, yeah he get one of them of my choppers. I'm gonna return fire. You can see how accurate the artillery is. It's uh, really annoying. Engaging the Apache is really good. But it's also really expensive, so if you lose it, uh, you give your opponent a lot of points. So I'm just gonna send. Uh, I think I'm gonna pull back in a bit because uh, this is kind of too much. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Choppers. I think I'll hold. Yep. My choppers do much better than his because of because uh, it's better. But I lost quite a bit. You can see the points. Even though I kind of won the engagement, he has he has more points. So uh, that was a pretty bad trade-off for my part, but I managed to take out all his choppers, and uh, I get a bit more points because I took out his command vehicles. Command vehicles give 200 points each, so it's really really um, important to take it out. And you can only have a maximum to deploy a maximum of four command vehicles. Once you lose all, you lose the game. <coughs> yep. Accurate artillery, and the thing about artillery is you can keep on resupplying it. So, yeah. and they have a they have a main gun on it. 
can, they can fire um, anti tank gun uh, ra rounds, and they shoot really fast. <coughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward this a bit, and I'm pushing up to the left side over here. It doesn't really have much, to be honest, because he spent so much on his uh, artillery piece. So I'm just gonna push. So yeah, I'm liking this game a lot. I'm uh, now on level 11, but uh, uh, my level's gonna get wiped uh, when the game is released. So yeah, to replay it again. Uh, and uh, when I when the full game releases, I'm just gonna mix in uh, units from the other nations to be to make this uh, deck more effective. <coughs> and now he's sending in uh, infantry units in uh, in these APC, and I catch them off guard. I think I guess, and my total missiles are firing. You can see they fire really fast, but uh, they, they they tend to miss a lot as well. But they're really cheap. So here comes the artillery. You can see how accurate it is. It's like it's so small the radius. Holy crap! See, it took out three of my uh, riflemen just like that. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this a bit more. Alright, see, so he just took out all my infantrymen like that. It's really, really powerful. And yo, is the faggot launcher. He has four of them, so that's 20 men. So I have to be very careful when I'm uh, engaging him. Alright, what's happening here? I'm just poking to see what he has. A lot of um, anti air and um, in battle tank. <coughs> but I managed to regroup my helicopters. <coughs> I should have two more. But uh, he has an uh, anti air here, so. But a good thing about uh, like being in the forest is uh, you don't get to see, you don't get to see my choppers, and I don't get to see his AA to the very last uh, second. It's like a, a double-edged sword. You can either lose all your shit or you can take out all his shit. But uh. I lose a lot of my choppers over here, we, a lot, way too many. Should have scouted before I engaged. Why well, it comes to a kind of a engagement over here? There's a lot of AT men, and I'm sending three Bradley, Bradleys with an infantry uh, rifleman in it. Did uh, my rifleman will take out his uh, uh, anti 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 tank team pretty fast? Cause the riflemen are meant to take these kind of people out. You can hear they are. And there's a Bradley supporting them as well. There they Doing pretty good, and you can I lost all my Bradley because of his freaking artillery. Holy shit! It's so hard to play against them. And I have Bradley here to uh, take out his uh, anti air. Oh, I'm I'm aiming for his artillery. I think yeah, I got one of them in the first shot. So that's pretty good. Because uh, his artillery is just annoying as hell. Oh, I missed the second one. They even have like a anti tank missile, so yeah. I'm just gonna keep fast forwarding. So I'm chasing his uh, artillery now. Got it. I got another one with my. Uh, Got a missile. My uh, all my Bradley fighting vehicles have a uh, anti-tank missile. So pretty good. Not the most accurate, but uh, still does its job well. You can see he's firing back with his uh, gun. But, uh, 
my cannon is pretty useful. He's just firing his HMG heavy machine gun now. And uh, he's shooting all my uh, shooting my badly with his AA. And uh, this is kind of dumb, but uh, the AA uh, does it's quite effective against armor for some weird reason. And uh, yeah, that's the game. Uh, managed to win him in the end. Um, yeah, and the thing I want to say about uh, this match was uh, how he just spammed artillery. I mean, he didn't really spam it, but he brought four of them, which is a lot because they cost so much. And it makes the army really, really small. So uh, if you guys have this game and you play, uh, don't always bring artillery. Well, they are good as support. You can see how accurate they are, but you still need other units like. Like my cheaper um, Bradley fighting vehicles with infantry in them, and my tow, like the tow jeep that I was talking about, and even the choppers. The Cobra costs only 40 points, while the uh, artillery costs like 125 points. So you can just overwhelm with a cheap army if you know how to uh, how to micro your troops properly. Uh, to be honest, and uh, yeah, I hope you got. Uh, I've I've received a lot of positive comments for this uh, this game. So I'll be definitely posting more. I have a uh, like five more replays saved up, so I'll I'll, I'll definitely post more. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this this uh, commentary, and I'll see you guys next time.